Tonight, I'd like to focus on some heart opening. I'd like us to get this region of the body kind of nice and warm, nice and open, so that we can be accepting, loving, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So let's go ahead and get centered, sitting tall in whichever way is comfortable for you. You can have your legs crossed. You can have one or both legs extended forward. Just be comfortable for a few minutes, OK? So go ahead and relax your shoulders down your back. And if it's comfortable for you, allow your eyes to close. And bring your awareness to your breath. The breath in your nostrils, the breath at your throat. Feeling your lungs fill as you inhale. Feeling your lungs empty as you exhale. And just notice how much access you have to being aware of your breath. For example, as you're aware of the inhale and exhale, you might find your attention pulled elsewhere toward maybe something that happened today, something happening in the world. Maybe there's some future tense going on, aware of something that has yet to come. It's OK when that happens. If, when it does, just bring your awareness back to your breath. And to help ground that awareness, we'll shape the breath a little bit. So with your next inhale, feel the lungs fill. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale out of your mouth. Let's do that again. Inhale, deep breath in. Exhale through your mouth. And that can be an audible sound. It can be silent, whatever you feel comfortable with. Again, inhale. A couple more times. And we're going to add some holds of the breath after inhalation, if you feel comfortable doing so. Inhale, take a deep breath in. Hold the breath in. Exhale out of your mouth. Let's do that again. Deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Let's do two more rounds. We're almost done. Deep breath in. Hold. Exhale. Last round. Mm -hmm. Inhale. Hold. Sip a little bit more breath in. Exhale. And then just feel as the breath adjusts. Good. So go ahead and bring your palms to your heart and lower the chin. Honor yourself as you are in this moment, body, breath, energy, and mind. And then go ahead and rub the palms together, creating heat between them. Take the heated palms over your eyes. Then brush back over the top of your head, down your neck, bringing yourself back to the space around you. Good. And let's start off on hands and knees tonight. So go ahead and come to table pose. Setting any props you have off to the side. Good. And stacking your hands underneath your shoulders, knees beneath the hips or slightly further back. And we'll start with some cat cow. So with your inhale, look forward with your heart, feel the tailbone lift behind you. Then as you exhale, round the back, tucking the chin and tail under. 
Inhale, look forward again, tailbone lifting. Exhale, round the back. Good, let's continue this movement for a little bit longer. Inhale, looking forward, exhale, rounding the back. Starting to warm up your spine, a little bit of movement in the hips and shoulders. And we're also starting to link your breath and your movement, your action and your intention. Good, making this a little bit more dynamic. With your next exhale, go all the way back to child's pose, seat to the heels, forehead toward the floor. Then inhale, float back up to hands and knees. Again, exhale, child's pose. And inhale, rise back up. We'll do a few more of these. Exhaling to child's pose. Inhale, coming up to hands and knees. Breathing as you move, moving as you breathe. Good, one more time. And then exhale, go back to child's pose, seat to the heels, forehead toward the floor. Feeling your hips ground towards your heels. From here, go ahead and walk your hands off of the right side of your yoga mat. Hands walking off to the right and feel your left hip grounding. Good, a couple more breaths, feeling length along the left side of your body. And then carefully walk your hands back through center and left, let's uh, walk the hands off the left side of your yoga mat. Feel your right hip ground toward its heel, feel length along the right side of your body and let's take some deep breaths. Good. And then walk the hands back through center. And then go ahead and slither down onto your abdomen. Okay. So have your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows bent. And we'll do a little bit of work to warm up your upper spine. So with your next inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart and head, gentle cobra. Exhale, release down. This time, feeling the pelvis ground, inhale, lift the head, chest, and your legs, locust pose. Exhale, release down. This time, just lift the head and chest, cobra lift, legs staying on the ground. Exhale, release. Then pelvis grounding, go ahead and lift with the legs, locust pose. And exhale, down. Again, just cobra. Legs stay on the floor. And release. With the legs, inhale, locust pose. Exhale, release. Let's do one more time for each posture. So inhale, lifting into cobra, heart and head lift, inhale. Exhale, release down. Good. Head, chest, and legs lift, locust pose. Exhale, release down. Good, curling the toes under. Go ahead and push up to hands and knees. And let's come into downward facing dog. And it's our first down dog of the night, so go ahead and walk it out a bit. Pressing a heel to the floor, bending the opposite knee, lengthen the legs, lengthen the spine. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, a couple more breaths here. Good, then inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Exhale, child's pose. 
Stay to the heels, forehead to the floor. <sighs> Feeling sensation we've cultivated so far. And then we'll go ahead and cultivate some more. So with your inhale, come back up to hands and knees. Curl the toes under, downward facing dog. And in down dog, lift your right leg high into the air behind you. With your exhale, swing or carry, step the right foot between the hands. Help it through if it doesn't make it on the first try. And then take the back foot flat to the floor. Your left toes pointing forward about 45 degrees. Nice bend to the front knee. And then with your inhale, sweep the arms forward and lift the, the heart up into warrior pose, warrior one. Good. Stay here for a breath or two. Deep breath in. And exhale, take the hands to the floor and step back to downward facing dog. Good, let's do the other side. Left leg lifts, please. And exhale, swing or carry, step the left foot forward. Again, help it through if you need to. Back foot comes flat to the floor, toes pointing forward. Nice bend of the front knee. Come on up for warrior one on this side. Staying for a few breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, take the hands to the floor and step back to downward facing dog. Good, let's lift the right leg into the air again. And exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Back foot flat to the floor, warrior one, come on up, inhale. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor, step on back, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, please. Exhale, step the foot all the way forward, back foot flat on the floor. Again, warrior one, come on up. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, take the hands to the floor, step on back, downward facing dog. We'll do one more time on each side for our warm up. So right leg lifts, exhale, step it through. Back foot turns flat, inhale, warrior one, come on up. I'm gonna stay for a little bit longer this time. So don't be afraid to bend into that front knee. Take the shoulders down the back, the heart is looking sort of like upward toward the sky. Deep breath in here. And exhale, go ahead and fold forward, plant the hands and step back. All right, let's do the left side. Left leg lifts and bring the foot through. Back foot flat to the floor, warrior Coming on up, sinking on in. Again, we're staying in the pose for a few breaths this time. So bend the front knee nicely. Roll the shoulders back, open the heart toward the ceiling. Breathe. A deep breath in and exhale, bring the hands down to the floor. Again, stepping back to downward facing dog. The next minute or so of class was cut out due to a poor internet connection. Please take your time coming to a standing position. All right, so when we talk about opening the heart, there's so many muscles, there's so much connectivity, connective tissue here that we really wanna work on opening up. So we're gonna do some exercises for our shoulders and for uh, the upper back to help that along. So if you've been coming to the chair yoga classes, we've done this one a few times, but it's a really great, great way to create space both in the front of the chest and in the upper back. So if you bring your palms together in front of you and then bring your elbows together in front of you, and you'll notice that my upper arm is parallel to the floor here. So this is something that looks easy that probably isn't. <laughs> As you squeeze the elbows together and then lift them a little bit more. Taking some deep breaths. And then keeping your upper arm parallel to the floor, go ahead and take the arms wide. 
like so, cactus arms, and work the shoulder blades together at the back and feel the chest open. Lift the, lift the elbows a little bit while keeping the elbows bent. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze the elbows and palms together. Lift the elbows. And then take the arms apart. Lift the elbows. One more time for each version of the pose. So bring the elbows and palms together, lift. And then take them wide apart and lift. Good, then bring them together, drop the elbows and release. Feeling sensation, there might be some, some tenderness or warmth in the shoulder joints, upper back. And next we're gonna play around with chair pose. So since we're gonna be holding chair a little bit here, I wanna make sure that you're in the version of the posture that works best for you. So there are two basic variations. One is if you have your feet stacking underneath your hips, you'd sink down in a chair pose and you would keep the knees apart. There'd still be some space there. Or for some folks, depending on your, honestly, your bone structure, um, you can have the feet together and the knees together so that when you sink down, the knees touch and the feet touch. What you don't wanna do is have the feet apart and then the knees buckling inward. That destabilizes the knee joint and the ankle joint and probably even the hip joint, bad news bears. So you can do either knees apart, feet apart, or knees together, feet together. All right, so pick one. And if you need to switch part way through, go ahead and do so. All right, so go ahead and lift your arms overhead. Relax the shoulders, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, sink into your version of the posture. So bending down, the heart is lifting. Good, then straighten the legs, inhale. We're gonna come right back into it. Exhale, bend the knees, sinking into chair. And then inhale, straighten the legs. We're gonna hold it this time. So exhale, sink down in. Good. With your inhale, take your arms wide. Turn the palms toward the ceiling, heart looking upward. As you exhale, extend your arms forward, look down, chest parallel to the floor, keeping the knees bent. Inhale, take the arms wide, turn the palms toward the ceiling, open the heart. Exhale, reach forward, look down. Let's do a few more. Inhale, arms wide, heart lift. Exhale, reach forward, looking down. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Take the arms wide. Exhale, reach forward. Good. Now just to come up, take the arms wide, and then straighten the legs, reaching up. With your exhale, swan dive, fold forward, hinging from the hips. Good, press palms to shins, come halfway up. Exhale, fold down and stay for about two breaths. Good, and then inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with a flat back, come all the way up to standing and bring your palms to your heart. Feel sensation, especially around the heart and the upper back. And then we'll move into our sun salutation for the evening. So when you're ready, please go ahead and step to the top of your mat if you're not there already. Have your feet about hip distance apart. And we're gonna work with warrior one again. So bringing the palms to your heart, relax the shoulders. Find your breath. And then we'll move on the flow of your breath. So with your next inhale, please sweep your arms down and up. Exhale, bend your knees, sweep the arms behind you, chair prep. Keep the knees bent as you lift the arms forward into chair pose and stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the knees. And exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Palms to shins halfway up. Exhale, release down and step back into downward facing dog. Both feet go back. Inhale into plank pose, or you could do knees down if you need to. Exhale, plank yourself to the floor. Feeling the pelvis ground. 
Inhale, head, chest, and the legs lift, locust pose. Exhale, fold. Curl the toes under, push up, and back to downward facing dog. Lifting your right leg high into the air behind you, exhale, swing or carry, step the right foot forward again. Take the back foot flat to the floor, and inhale, come on up for warrior one. Good. Exhale, staying. Inhale, straighten the right knee. Hinge at the hips. Lead with the heart as you fold forward and down over the right leg. Stay for the inhale. And exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Again, inhale into plank pose. Exhale, plank yourself down to the floor. Pelvis grounding, head, chest, and legs lift. And then exhale, release, curl the toes under, pushing up and back into downward facing dog. All right, go ahead and lift your left leg this time. Exhale, step the left foot forward, helping it along. Back foot flat to the floor, warrior one, come on up. Staying for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the leg. And exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward over the left leg. Stay for the inhale. And this time, step the back foot forward, standing forward fold. Press palms, the shins come halfway up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side of the flat back, coming all the way up. And palms to the heart. Take an adjusting breath. And we'll do another round. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, bend your knees, chair prep. Inhale, chair pose. Staying for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Palms to shins, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, release. Again, stepping back to downward facing dog. Inhale into plank pose. Exhale, plank yourself down to the floor. Pelvis grounding, locust lift, head, chest, and legs. And exhale, release. Curl the toes under, pushing up to hands and knees and back to downward facing dog. Lifting the left leg, or right leg, sorry, right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Back foot flat to the floor. Warrior one, come on up. Good, inhale, straighten the right knee. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward and down. Deep breath in. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Again, plank pose. Exhale to the earth. Locust rise, head, chest, and legs. Exhale down, curl the toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. Now we lift the left leg, please. Left leg, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward. Back foot flat to the floor. Warrior one, come on up. Good. Inhale, straighten the left knee. Hinging at the hips. Exhale, fold forward and down. Stay for the inhale. And exhale, step the right foot forward. Standing forward fold. Palms to shins when you get there. Halfway up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side of the flat back, come all the way up, palms to the heart. And we're gonna keep this energy moving. So inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bend the knees, chair prep. Inhale, chair pose. Lift on inhale, fold on exhale. Palms to shins. Exhale, release, stepping back to downward facing dog. Plank pose. Exhale to the earth. Locust rise, head, chest, legs. And then exhale, release, and curl the toes under, pushing up and back. Downward facing dog. We'll lift the right leg high and step it through. Help it along. Back foot flat to the floor. Warrior one, come on up. Staying for the exhale. Good, inhale, straighten the leg, and then exhale, fold over it. Stay for the inhale, and exhale, step back, downward facing dog. 
You can stay in down dog or you can move through this middle flow again. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale down to the earth. Locust lift. And then exhale release, returning to downward facing dog. Good, left leg please. Exhale, step it through. Back foot flat to the floor, warrior one. Inhale, straighten the left knee. And then exhale, fold over the left leg. Stay for the inhale. And then exhale, step the right foot forward. Palms to shins when you get there. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with the flat back coming all the way up. Exhale, bend your knees. Sweep the arms behind you, chair prep. Inhale into chair pose. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, fold forward and down. Palms to shins. Exhale, release. Step back, downward facing dog. Again, plank pose. Exhale down to the earth. Let's lift on up to locust pose, head, chest, and legs. Inhale. Exhale, release. Go ahead and push up to hands and knees and back to downward facing dog. All right, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Back foot flat to the floor. Come on up for warrior. Good, inhale, straighten the knee. Then exhale, fold over the right leg. Stay for the inhale. Exhale again, downward facing dog. You can, again, you can rest here or you can move through this middle flow with me. Inhale into plank. Exhale down to the earth. Locust rise. Exhale, release, curl the toes under, push up. We'll meet back in down dog. Once there, lift the left leg and step it on through. Help it forward. Back foot flat to the floor. Again, warrior one, come on up. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, fold over it. Deep breath in. And exhale, step the right foot forward. Let's press palms to shins, come halfway up, inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, coming all the way up. And palms to your heart this time. Let's take an adjusting breath. Feeling sensation, your breath rate, your heart rate. Your mind's relationship to that. Hmm. So we're going to go through one more round of that sun salutation, and we're going to add some variations. We're going to hold some of the postures as well, okay? So we'll take our time with it this time. With your next inhale, go ahead and sweep the arms down, back and up. Exhale, chair prep, chair pose. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten up. And exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Palm to shins, halfway up. Exhale, release. And again, we're going to step back to downward facing dog. Inhale into plank pose. Let's stay for a breath. Inhale. And exhale, plank yourself down to the floor. Locust rise, head, chest, and legs. Inhale. And exhale, release down. Curl the toes under, push up, and back, downward facing dog. Let's lift the right leg and exhale, step it through. Back foot flat to the floor, come on up for warrior one. Then we come into our first longer hold here. And we're gonna do that exercise with the elbows that we did earlier. So go ahead and bring the arms in the cactus. Upper arm is parallel to the floor. Take a deep breath in here, feel the chest fill. With your exhale, squeeze the, the elbows together in front of you. Now stay and take a deep breath in. Feel the shoulder blades widen. And exhale here. 
Inhale, take the arms wide. Stay. Inhale here. And exhale, bring the elbows together. Stay. Inhale, take them wide. Lift the elbows, turn the heart toward the ceiling. Keep the heart turning toward the ceiling, bring the elbows together in front of you. Stay, lift the elbows. And then this time, inhale, straighten the front knee, reach the arms up and back. With your exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward over the right leg. And let's stay in this fold for just a little bit. It's okay if the right knee is bending slightly. Good, one more breath. Bending the front knee a little bit more, go ahead and step back to downward facing dog. Good, inhale into plank pose. Exhale down to the floor. Pelvis grounding, head, chest, and legs lift. We're gonna stay for two breaths in locust pose, please. Inhale, and exhale, release. Curl the toes under, pushing up and back into downward facing dog, and let's stay in down dog for about four to five deep breaths. Good, now lift the left leg high into the air. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, help it through. Back foot flat to the floor, warrior one, come on up. Again, staying in the pose, go ahead and bring the arms into cactus. Take a deep breath in and out. And then inhale, bringing the elbows and palms together in front of you, take a deep breath in. And out. Inhale, take the elbows and palms wide. Deep breath in. And out. Inhale, bring them together. Inhale, take them apart. Good, now bring the elbows and palms together. Lift the elbows. And then inhale, straighten the left knee, reach the arms up and back. With your exhale, hinge at the hips. Lead with the heart as you fold down over your left leg. Staying in this forward fold for a few breaths. Sing length along the back of the left leg. Good, and then bending the left knee, go ahead and step forward. Palms to shins, halfway up, inhale, heart parallel to the floor, and exhale, folding down. Let's do that two more times. Palms to shins, halfway up, inhale. Extending the spine forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side with a flat back, come all the way up. And palms to heart. Take an adjusting breath, feel sensation. What's happening in your body? What's happening in your breath? Energy moving around the heart, sensation. Go ahead. Go ahead and have a drink of water in a minute. Go ahead and take a drink of water.
All right. So we're gonna work with triangle pose next. So from the top of your mat, go ahead and step your left foot back. You're gonna have the back foot flat on the floor, floor, sorry, toes pointing out to the side. So it's not a warrior one stance that we were doing earlier where the hip rotates forward. The, rib is, the hip is gonna rotate open this time. So a little bit of difference of the back foot. It's a nice wide stance. A little bit wider, there we go. <laughs> We're not going to do warrior two, but we want the warrior two stance. So take the arms out to the side, parallel to the legs. Keep the right knee straight, never locked. You want to keep a little bit of energy there, but keep it straight. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, reach forward like you're trying to grab somebody's hand in front of you. And then come back up. Exhale, reach. And inhale, rise. Let's do two more. Reach and rise, reach, and rise. This time we're gonna go a little bit further. Go ahead and reach forward. Place the right hand down onto your right shin. Your left arm is gonna drop down. And then inhale, reach forward with it, and then spin the arm into the air, opening the chest, almost like your heart's gonna open toward the ceiling. Now, if it's comfortable in your neck, you can look straight up at the hand in the air. If not, it's okay to look forward or even down. Don't strain the neck here. But do keep the left shoulder working back. And breathe. Good. Now we're going to stay for just a few more breaths. I'm going to invite you to take the left hand, the hand that's in the air, and extend it overhead, palm facing the floor, and then roll the shoulder back, the left shoulder back, a little bit more. Good. Now to come out of this pose, get light on the right hand, extend the right arm forward, and then use the muscles of your back to lift you all the way up and then relax the arms down. Good job. All right, so to do the other side, all we have to do is change the angles of the feet. So we just did a little dance there. One side, now we're doing the other side, okay? Back foot is flat on the floor, toes pointing out to the side. Left toes are pointing straight forward. Good. Now take the arms out to the side. Again, front knee, though it is straight, is not locked. There's just a little bit of energy moving there. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach forward with your left hand, and then inhale, come back up. Exhale, reach forward with the left hand like you're gonna grab somebody's hand in front of you, and then inhale, come back up. A Couple more times, reach, and rise. Reach, and rise. Good, go ahead and reach forward. Place the left hand down onto the left shin. Drop your right arm down in front of you. Then inhale, reach forward, and exhale, spiral open. Right arm coming into the air. Again, if, it's, it's, if you can look at the hand in the air, go ahead and do so. If not, look straight forward or even down. Breathe. Keep rolling the right shoulder back. Good. Now, if you'd like to, you can take the right arm, the top arm, and reach it forward, palms face down, and then roll the right shoulder back even more. Good. And then to come up, before you come up, extend the left arm forward and use the muscles of the back to reach yourself all the way up. Then release the arms. Whew. Good, feeling energy in the sides of the body, kind of some upward and outward moving energy. So go ahead and bring the feet parallel to one another. We're in a wide leg stance here. Feet are pointing straight forward for me. And we're gonna take a forward fold. So go ahead and slide the hands down the backs of your legs. Knees are a little bit soft here. I'm just feeling a symmetrical stretch in your body after those triangle poses. 
And we'll do some waving of the spine here. So with your hands or fingertips on the floor, go ahead and inhale, come halfway up, heart parallel to the ground, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, folding down. Let's do a couple more. Waving in the spine. Inhale, extending the spine forward. Exhale, folding down. Once more. Exhale, fold. Good, and then bring yourself up halfway. Just as a transition, turn your body toward the front of your mat, whatever you deem the front of the mat to be. Bring your hands on either side of that foot and step back to downward facing dog. Just did a little dance, that's all. Good, again, feeling a symmetrical stretch in your body. You can soften the knees, shoot the hips toward the sky behind you so you feel some length in your spine. Then inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Release the feet, exhale, child's pose. Seat to the heels, forehead to the floor. Aware of the inhale, aware of your exhale. Good, so from here, go ahead and again, slither forward down onto your abdomen. Good, so we're gonna come into a more restorative posture called crocodile pose. So we'll start with the feet and we'll work our way up your body. So take your feet as wide apart as your yoga mat and then turn the inside arches down toward the floor. This means that there's an external rotation in the hips so the hips and the pelvis can spread into the ground. This is gonna help here in just a few minutes. For the upper body, you're gonna cross your arms in front of you, but this is not a face plant. You're not, you're not here, you're not even here. You actually want the elbows to be maybe just a couple of inches in front of your shoulders so that when you um, have your arms crossed, your chest is lifting off the ground. Again, this will be important here in just a minute. And then for the head, you just rest the head on the back of the hands or arms. So go ahead and join me here. So just getting into the pose, just feeling your body in this pose. And I'd like you to become aware of your breath moving in your abdomen. With the inhale, feeling your belly press into the floor. And exhale, feeling the belly release away. And that might feel counterintuitive. It might feel honestly more comfortable to breathe to your chest. But I'm going to invite you to just see if you can draw a bit more breath down into your abdomen. Inhale, feeling the belly press into the earth. Exhale, feeling it pull away. When we breathe to the abdomen in this pose, it helps to put pressure on the vagus nerve, which sends a signal to your brain to lower your blood pressure and to 
calm, soothe your nervous system, drawing you out of your fight, flight, freeze, collapse response, and bringing you into your rest and digest response. We'll stay for just a little bit longer. Notice where your mind goes when you hold this posture. And then draw it back to this breath in your abdomen. Good. So from here, just take a deeper, fuller breath to start. And then carefully bring the legs and feet closer to one another. And then take your time as you roll over onto your back for just a couple more postures. So rolling on over. Good. So if you're still rolling over, take your time. Once you're there, hug your knees into your chest. And I'd like us to get a twist in before the class is done. So keeping your knees drawn in, go ahead and take your arms out to the side, making a T-shape with your body. If there's furniture or something nearby, you can do goalpost arms. Keep the knees drawn close to the body. Take a deep breath in. And with your exhale, allow your knees to fall to your right side. Good, then do your best to ground your left shoulder and maybe even turn your chin to the left if that's comfortable on your neck. And even your right hand could rest gently on top of your left knee or thigh, not forcing the twist, but just encouraging it. And let's take some breaths here. One more breath here. And then with your next inhale, carefully bring the knees back to center. And take your time as you allow them to fall to the left this time. Feel your right shoulder ground as much as possible, maybe even turning your chin to the right. And your left hand might want to rest gently on top of your right thigh or knee. And we'll stay for just a few breaths. One more breath here, please. And then with your next inhale, carefully bring the knees back to center. Let's hug them in this time. And it might feel good to rock gently on the spine from side to side, nothing too intense. It also might feel really good just to hold the knees still 
listen to your body, honor whatever it's asking for. And if you're not sure, try both and see which one you want to do. And then when you feel complete in this posture, go ahead and release the legs down to the floor. And we'll come into Shavasana, corpse pose. Allowing the toes to fall away from one another, your arms resting out to your side, palms face up. Soft jaw, soft eyes as the eyes close. And then to help you settle in, take a deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. <sighs> if that felt good, do it again. <sighs> Settling in. Become aware of your body. In the space within your body. And just see where there might be some tightness, some gripping, some holding or stress. Where it might be you be holding some tension. And as you're breathing, see if you can bring some breath to those regions of your body. Doesn't mean you have to take a deeper breath. It's just imagining that the nourishment, the nourishment and the relief that come with your breath are touching these points. Maybe there's some tension in the legs. You can imagine the breath going there and just soothing that tension. Maybe it's in the front abdomen or shoulders. And just keep relaxing. Peace. Peace. Peace.
Please begin to take a deeper, fuller breath. Make some gentle movements in your hands and feet, your arms and legs. And when you're ready, go ahead and roll to your right side. And joining me in a seat when you feel complete here. So if you're still making your way to a seat, continue to move at your own pace. When you're there, just sit tall. Bringing the palms to your heart and lower your chin. And just honor yourself for being here tonight, for all the effort you put forward in the practice, gratitude for the determination, the willpower, And may all of that effort and this practice continue to serve you. So until next time, namaste.